hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do a voiceover because the actual video always like I guess scratches and I didn't want to um what do you call it because my dad was downstairs and he was watching TV so it was really loudy loud <laughs> I don't know why I said loudy um, but I wanted to, um, just voice over this. This is going to be episode, what episode are we on, guys? Do you know? Of course you know, but at the time, I don't know. But, yeah. And then I had uh, a little trouble like loading it because I was um, I was listening to music while I was playing. <clears throat> so that's a thing. Uh, this new episode is episode six. Yeah. So what is to talk about? What is going on? Let's see what is going on. <laughs> <sighs> what a day. I had a good day. What about y'all? Did you have a good day? All right, so I'm just looking at my Google Google News, I guess what that's your call it. And it's about Aaliyah's greatest looks, remembering late makeup artist Eric Farrell. I guess he did makeup for Aaliyah, the R&B singer. Um. <clears throat> Celebrity makeup artist Eric Farrell was the mastermind behind late R&B singer and legend Aaliyah's signature face. After 30 years of making magic in the entertainment industry, Eric's death at age 50 was reported oh. in early November 2020. His cause of death is still unknown, but his legacy still lives on through the art he left behind. Oh my god, that's so sad, guys. That's sad. Eric has painted the faces of powerhouses like Beyonce, Solange, and Brandy, but he's most renowned for creating, I mean, crafting Aaliyah's iconic makeup aesthetic. Eric Farrell is my makeup artist. I never have to worry with Eric. I close my eyes, open them, and he makes me beautiful, said Aaliyah in a 2001 MTV diary. That is so sweet. Aaliyah, oh my god. As Eric told the fader in 2011, he met Aaliyah on the photo shoot for her very first album, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number, when she was just 15. He worked in her glam squad for eight years and even helped craft MAC's Aaliyah collection in 2018. I guess that's Mac, Max, MAC. Over the, over the years, Eric built his own niche of timeless nostalgia. Aaliyah's 
sharp brow, sultry lashes, and ultra glossy lips transcend their late 90s timestamp and still influence beauty trends two decades later. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so awesome. Um, sorry. But that was from Teen Vogue. Uh, it was by Shama Nasinde. Nasind? Shama Nasind. Oh my god. Jennifer Lopez just copied Ariana Grande's signature ponytail. What the fuck? How? Like, you can't even. So this one's by Cosmopolitan. And it's. The, the writer is called Cassie Pony. Pony. P O W N E Y. And then oh. it says Jennifer Lopez just copied Ariana Grande's signature ponytail. Hopefully that's better. I'm sorry, like the background noise was getting on my nerves. I'm sorry if you. Anyways. So, it says, you've probably already seen Jennifer Lopez looking amazing at the People's Choice Awards on Sunday night, where she was named People's Icon of 2020. If we're being honest, we were expecting her to turn up with what is fast becoming her signature hair look, the shag. J-Lo suits any hairstyle Chris Appleton throws at her but around a month ago we started to notice a more must up texture creeping in it began with a low key mullet shag and progressed into a 90s aerobics instructor crimp which we also loved. She had a little break from shagging about with some Spice Girls spice buns, but the shag doesn't die that easily because it was back in the blink of an eye in the guise of a cool girl bedhead. So yeah, you can see why we assumed she would be loyal to her tried and tested texture for the big awards. But we were wrong, so very wrong. Because the hair she went for was glam, glossy, and appeared to be inspired by another pop star's signature look. Oh my god, it's not even that bad. What else is oh, okay, it's supposed to like recently. That's not even that bad. That she looks okay. I wouldn't say that she she copied Ariana because Ariana does it better? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. I'll probably put it up somewhere to, to show you all. It's not that bad. It ain't that bad, guys. Let's talk about politics today. Let's see. Biden teams belittles spect spectacle of sweaty Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani. 
pushing vote fraud conspiracy claims. I want to try to do um, reaction videos. I don't think I've ever done reaction videos before on this channel. But I, I kind of want to do that. Um, I don't know when, but I'll see what I can do because... I used to be downloading videos like um, like the music videos or like videos in general like very easily and I would um, put them in my computer and I would do like edits of like my favorite music videos and like my other like audio recordings of songs and I would I would see if like that matches with with the with the music video and it was so fun. I want to I want to upload some for y'all so y'all can see how cool and cute it was. I I really want to do that. I think that would be so much fun. But yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Well, yeah. The rest of this video is gonna, just going to be some, some songs I put up with. Um, I hope you enjoy it because I'm running out of like ideas to like, talk to y'all about. Uh, I know that's really bad and I don't know. But yeah, I hope, I hope you understand the struggle if you've ever done anything of like if you ever done created videos and like actually take the time to do some videos like this video I mean though it's just it's just a a video about gaming like I'm actually just doing gaming and I really liked it I liked how I did this one because I was just I wasn't talking at all and I was just listening to my music it was really cool and I really liked that but yeah maybe I can do some ASMR would you like ASMR did you like my first ASMR that I did the first ASMR that I did was kind of bad. It, I think it was like like five minutes. Like <laughs> that's funny, but I don't know. Also, comment down below if reading from like like news articles is is bad on YouTube or is that okay? Cause like. I don't want to get copyright for that, even if that's not even a copyright issue. That could be a copyright issue if I didn't, like, credit who wrote it. But let me know if that is a copyright issue and if that even is. So this dog just sits in my freaking my freaking boat and I killed him at the end of this video but <sighs> whatever that's the dog that freaking bit me in episode 5 guys in episode 5 that dog bit me that dog killed me yeah but like Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try and put some. I'm going to try and put some. Some. What do you call it? Music. I'm going to give you some music. So you can listen to it. But then again, I don't want to put music on. Because I kind of just want it to be like this. Like it's like my original shit. And like I can. I don't have to. 
to share anything. I don't know. But let me know if if what? I don't even know. I'm just rambling on. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, let me see if I can. Ooh, this one says Lil Wayne charged with firearm possession. What, um, are y'all into K-pop? I know I've done a lot of K-pop videos on my channel. I was wondering where my K-pop fans are. Comment down below if you're a K-pop fan. Close the, the door. Thinking about, I'm probably thinking about like, they caught, yeah. I was thinking about coal because you need the coal for because I, I wanted to do I want to get um, what do you call it I wanted to get bruh shark boy and lava girl returns as parents in new we can be heroes photos Oh, that's interesting. So I heard that Selena Selena Quintanilla's story on Netflix is, is getting sued because the producer who did the first film, like the movie with Jennifer Lopez, it got like, um, what do you call it? Uh, Abraham Quintanilla had done a, what do you call it? It's like, it's a, like an agreement. And, um, yeah, it was like an agreement with the, with the other guy, the, the other producer who did the, the movie. And, the agreement was basically like if if they do like a sequel to the Selena, the first Selena movie, then he wants to the producer who did the the film the first film wants to be a part of that because he had a contract with Abraham Quintanilla that supposedly. Um, I don't even know how to explain this. I'm, I'm doing my best, guys. Like this is my first time ever like, speaking, like actually speaking, like talking to you, like genuinely, genuinely. I don't know. But yeah, so the producer is suing Abraham Quintanilla because the movie Selena is technically his to produce and to film. So that's basically it. I could have just said that, but like, I don't even know. But yeah, that's what's going on with that. I don't think, is it on Netflix now? Because we all know what happened with Netflix's cuties, that pedophile child sexual shit we all know about that because it, se it seems like um, Netflix never took it down for cuties oh, let me see. and I still have Netflix because there's a lot of good shows on Netflix don't even get me started like I'm not gonna delete Netflix due to their fuck up 
because there's there's too much there's 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 there yeah no I'm I'm not gonna give up my Netflix for a stupid fuck up because they fucked up because I'm not I'm not about that no I'm not gonna I never watched it cuties and yeah they deleted cuties off Netflix yeah they did they deleted cuties off Netflix so I guess that is why they're still up that is why Netflix is still up because they didn't want to do they didn't want to get in trouble with that okay yeah Selena the new So Selena's series on Netflix is coming on December 4th. So they So I'm really excited for the Selena uh, the series on Netflix because I'm I'm a huge Selena fan. Uh, as people who who watch my videos know that I am a Selena fan, or the people who know me personally know that I am a Selena fan. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm all confusing y'all. <sighs> I'm just trying to make quality content for y'all because I've been I've been um I've been lacking in that department, not making enough videos like this. So you can understand why I'm I'm a little crazy. Have y'all seen After? By it was that Wattpad story that that was turned into movie, and so like they turn it into a Netflix movie. Y'all, I'm just like going on to like movies and shit, but have y'all seen A Walk to Remember? A Walk to Remember is so good. I like it. But yeah. Can you hear that? God, I hate it when people drive with like those big engines or like those loud engines or those loud cars. It's so annoying. All right, honestly, I said that I was gonna put like music in the background while you watch my gameplay, but I. I ended up not doing that. Sorry about that, guys. And I already put like a sticker in the beginning when I said that I would, but I ended up talking throughout all this video. So, just enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> all right. Let me see if I can look up some things. Let's see. Interesting facts. See if somebody has 
let's go ahead and look at some interesting facts, shall we? In this one, it says subjects schools could teach to make education more interesting. And that is paleontology, astronomy, earth science, and artificial intelligence. Do y'all agree with that? Comment down below. Because there is a lack of like education of like making the topics interesting or like making a subject matter interesting. Like there's there's not enough subjects for people uh, for teachers and teachers who specialize in those subjects to actually have real to actually have a part in the education system I think that is lacking to be honest with y'all like in high school and like in middle school because I think that colleges have more uh, have more of that astronomy, like paleont paleontology, earth science, and artificial intelligence. Like there is college courses for that stuff, but there isn't any college. I mean, there isn't any courses to take for like middle school and high school. That's just my opinion. I don't think. Yeah, that they should really like enforce that more. So this one, an Indo Indonesian man becomes a millionaire after an extremely rare 2.1 kg space meteorite crashes through his roof. That is amazing because like imagine having something completely rare that is actually worth money crashing into your roof and you become a millionaire that's like that's like god sent like help for you like that's amazing <laughs> let's see about this one this one says, everybody gives only them the credit for producing oxygen on Earth. And it's a picture of trees. Uh, it's a picture of trees. But more than 50% of oxygen, oxygen comes from planktons living in the oceans. Oh my God. That's amazing. So we all give credit to the trees for giving us oxygen when we should also be more appreciative towards the plankton living in our oceans that's what we should be appreciating because they are the species that's giving us life and that's amazing This one's interesting too. One million years ago, the most technologically advanced things on the planet were fire and a hand axe. Wow. So the one, so in Minecraft, I've been doing, see, I killed, I killed the dog. Did you see that? Did you see that? I killed the dog because it was getting on my nerves. I almost missed that, but I killed him. I killed that dog because fuck that dog. Yeah. And I can't, I couldn't like, like make him mine or anything. Cause like, I don't have that 
that thing. Comment down below if you're a Minecraft junkie like me. Comment down below if you if you actually like what is the the animal part you're supposed to not animal part I'm talking about like like the food you're supposed to give to the to the to the wolf to the dog what is that thing because I'm needing something to I'm needing something to get like a pet because that pet wasn't doing it for me either, so I wouldn't, I couldn't care less about that. But because that animal, if you've seen episode five, you understand why I hated that animal. That animal freaking killed me in episode five. If you want to go check out episode five, go ahead and check out episode five because that episode, that dog killed me and I lost everything. I still have lost everything. In this video, I actually got what I needed like I made the extra things if you've been paying attention to the video as well as listening to me speaking yeah that's why I like whatever okay so this one says people who love space have broad broad minds like broader minds when you start thinking about stars galaxies black holes and the size of the universe you find out that ego pride and jealousy makes no sense that is amazing let me repeat that for y'all one more time people who love space have broader minds when you start thinking about stars galaxies black holes and the size of the entire universe, you find out that ego, pride, and jealousy makes no sense. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. And that's funny because one time I I was looking at like space stuff and I was I was like researching how big the universe is and the, the universe like we are like a tiny speck of like dust in the universe essentially like think about regular dust we're that but like in a broader sense like like we are we're dust in the galaxy like the galaxy is just one big cluster of stars and gases and like you really are just like one of that dust like the earth is a dust like like that small small dust that we are and that really gets you like <sighs> that's amazing that's like totally amazing little ASMR if you can hear that I was drinking some water maybe the rest of the video could be just me eating I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and eat heat some taquitos up and then I'm gonna eat it but let's see another one for y'all this one says if you leave earth at the age of 15 in a spaceship at the speed of light and spend five years in space when you get back on earth you will be 20 years old and all your friends who were 15 when you left will be 65 years old this phenomenon is known as Tim dilation in physics oh my god I should get into physics because that's that's kind of interesting that's really interesting. I like that. Wow. That's really creepy as well. In a way. 
But that's really interesting. So let's see. Cool. Wi-Fi invention was an accident. So this one says, Wi-Fi invention was an accident. It was a failed experiment to detect the explosion of many black holes the size of an atomic particle. Oh, that's interesting. So this one's claiming Wi-Fi was an invention that was made by accident. And it says that it was a failed experiment to detect the explosion of many black holes the size of an atomic particle. Th this is so cool. Like this one. Uh, this, is, this is an Instagram page called interesting.facts100. No spaces. It's really cool. Like. That's awesome. Sorry, I'm just looking at you. Not to be missed in November. So in November, we're still in November, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are. So not to be missed events in November. So November 2nd was the Asteroid 2018 VP1 may, may enter Earth 0.41% chance. Sorry. <clears throat> My dad got me pizza, so I'm eating that. But the other one was, in November 13th, Moon and Venus clo are close to each other. Which, um, this part is going to be the, the, I guess, audio mukbang. If you want to call it that. Because you're just going to hear me eating. Um, and mukbangs are my main source of content for this channel my channel consists of almost every every video is mukbang like mukbang is like the only consistent thing on my channel <laughs> which is really weird but really cool at the same time so this one is in November 17th Leonid's, I don't know how you say that, L-E-O-N-I-D-S, but like I guess legions of meteors should be coming, but like it's the 20th now, did, do y'all know of any meteor shower happening on the 17th of November? <clears throat> and then November 29th which hasn't happened yet um, a lunar eclipse is going to be visible from Asia and America so keep a look out on that too that will be cool I'm just going to get my last pizza Uh, okay, let's see. Did y'all know a snail can glide over sharp edge of a knife or a razor without harming itself? That is amazing. 
All of these facts are cool. Y'all should go check them out. It's um, interesting facts. 100. So interesting. <gasps> Sorry. Interesting dot facts. 100. No spaces. Sorry, I'm eating. <clears throat> so this one says a prison cell in the newly built store stream prison Denmark wait what oh so the freaking prison in store uh, in Denmark the the prison in Denmark Called Storstrom Prison. Looks like a hotel. Oh my god. So that's fun. That's funny. Mm. So this one's kind of scary. This one says... Earth is accelerating towards its sixth mass extinction event, according to the scientists. So, so animals and plants are dying at the quickest rate since the dinosaur extinction 66 million years ago that is scary because animals and plants are the closest to human beings like oh my god that's scary and don't help the coronavirus with like our own personal extinctions but i don't know that's something cool and scary to think about. Like animals and plants are dying at the quickest rate since the dinosaur extinction 66 million years ago. Mm. All right, we're almost done with the video. Just bear with me, guys. <sighs> um so this is interesting three suns like the sun like the solar sun three suns appeared in china due to rare phenomenon the suns lasted in the sky for about three hours it's an optical illusion called sun dogs that is amazing so that is actually a thing over there in china Mm. All right, so I have like I have not enough minutes left. I have what do you call? It? Let me see. Well, I can't see my time. All right, anyways, I'm almost done with this video, so. Okay, so anytime you feel life isn't nice, remember remember this. Brazilian prisoner who drug who dug an escape tunnel for five years to burst out in a guard room. I don't get that though. I just had a, I just had a stroke, like, saying that. Alright, so it says, Anytime you feel life isn't nice, remember this Brazilian prisoner who dug an escape tunnel for five years to burst out in a dog, in a guard room.
So I wonder if I wonder if that prisoner's out or like I don't get that. Or the 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 guards put him there for five years. That would be messed up. I guess I'll leave y'all with this. So a little food for thought. Thousands have climbed Mount Everest. Twelve people have walked on the moon. And then but only three people have been to the deepest point in the ocean. And that's the Mariana Trench, I believe. The Mariana Trench is the most deepest part of the ocean. And yeah. That's what from what I said. I heard. Mm. Pizza's really good. I like it. This is just cute. I don't know why. When they feel threatened, red pandas stand up and extend their claws to look bigger and more dangerous. They they really look cute if you if you follow the page and look at what the post is, like they're so cute. Red pandas. Mm. One comment said they look dangerously cute. Oh my god. Mm. I think we have two more minutes. So. Mm. This is the part where I was like determining whether I should go out or like just stay. But if y'all like this video, please make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would really help me out into getting more popular. But if you don't want to do that, at least like this video. It's the least you can do. You can like this video. If you don't want to subscribe, if you don't want to turn your post notifications on, at least like this video. So, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.